Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is video 12, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to install software using group policy. In my case, I'm just gonna use Google Chrome because it's just something I wanna install. You could pick anything you want, as long as it's an MSI file, it has to be an MSI to deploy in group policy. So we're gonna do about five things in this video. We're gonna go ahead and create a folder named software. We're gonna go ahead and download. I already did a few of these just to, for time saving sake, but I can show you how to do it. Download the Google Chrome MSI. We're gonna go ahead and create a group policy and we can name it whatever, Google Chrome GPO deployment. And we're gonna do this for our Windows 11 machine. We're gonna to go to a Windows 11 machine and check if it's installed, right? Then there's some other stuff. We're gonna do GP update and all that good stuff. And then we're gonna test and see if the user can see and open up Google Chrome, all right? So let's get started. So let's go ahead and open up that. Go ahead and open up our VC. Okay, so on our domain controller, the first thing is first, we have to go ahead and create a folder. I already did that, I named it software. And inside software, I downloaded the MSI. What you can do is just go out to Google and just Google Now Google opens. Why my internet slow a little bit today? And just put Google MSI download. Okay. And then you can just go ahead and download the MSI. Go down here or wherever, Windows. And you can just go ahead and download the type and then MSI. And you can download and you can have it. Okay. Cool. So that's where it is at the moment. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna share this, this folder out really quick. So let's go ahead and share this. Because in order for our servers, our desktops, our laptops, whatever, to install this application, we have to have it to a UNC path, right? So it's, it's visible. Let's go to sharing, then sharing, share this folder. Permissions, read only is fine for me. I don't need any, any more permissions than that. It's gonna be called sh uh, software, apply, okay. So this is gonna be my UNC path. I wanna go ahead and copy this. We're gonna need that in a second. Let me just open up a notepad. So we can throw that in there. So we'll, we'll keep that for a second. Let's make it bigger so you can see. All right, let's minimize that. All right, we can close that now. So that's the first step, right? So the next step we have to do is create a group policy. So let's open up server manager right here. Let's go back here. So we can just go to tools, open up group policy object, or group policy management, sorry. Okay, so in here, this is our domain that we're gonna be working with, infosecpath.com, and our GPOs is, are right here. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new GPO. You can call it whatever you want, right? I can, I'm gonna call it Google Chrome Deploy GPO. Okay, that's fine with me. Okay. So within here, we have to go ahead and edit. So let's edit it. And let's make this bigger. So this is gonna be a computer, uh, computer configuration policy, right? And in policies, we have software, windows, and administrative templates. We're gonna go ahead and go to software and software installation. So this is where you guys have to be. So let's go ahead and right click on this, go to properties. So default right here, default package location, this is where the software is going to be. In my case, that's why I copied that UNC path and we're gonna put that there. So when we browse, we know exactly where to look for that Google Chrome MSI, all right? So let's go ahead and hit apply here, okay? And you can go ahead and right click here and hit new package or you can hit on this white space, you can right click and go to package and look at that, boom. I went to the default package location and we can go ahead and click on this Google Chrome and hit open. We can go ahead and hit assigned. That's perfectly fine for me. Let's hit okay. Okay, so here we go. We see it that's Google Chrome version is 69.18. We can see, you see the whole shebang, okay? So we are golden now. So let's go ahead and close this out, okay? So now we have to link this group policy 
to an organizational unit. So let's go back to our AD. So in IT, IT computers, we have our Win11 machine. So we are going to link this group policy to this OU in my case. However you structured your Active Directory, however it is, you go ahead and link it to the computer's OU that you want this, this group policy to be applied to, okay? So in my case, let's go to IT, IT computers, right click, click link an existing group policy object. I'm gonna go ahead and do Google Chrome, perfect. We should be good, okay? So now what we can do is go to our Windows 11 machine. Let me find it. All right, so we are logged in. So obviously it's not gonna be installed. Let's just go quote unquote verify so I can show you guys a before and after type deal, right? Because obviously you wanna see the proof of concept. So now what we can do is open up appwiz.cpl. That's pretty much the control panel. There's no Google Chrome here, okay? Perfect. So now let's go ahead and run CMD and let's do a GP update slash force. Make that a little bigger so you guys can see. So it's group policy update. So that's gonna force the group policy to be pushed down to this machine. It's probably gonna ask us to reboot and that's perfectly fine because we have to reboot. Yes, sir. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just reboot it. Okay. And if it doesn't work the, fo the first time, don't be discouraged. Just go ahead and just reboot it again. Do a GP update. Sometimes it all depends on the network speed, how, you know, how good your AD is configured. But in your lab, it should work because you don't have a big environment unless you have a million things going on. But it should work, you know, automatically once you, you know, once you apply that group policy. Let's go back to the DC quick. I just want to, I just want to check something really quick. I'll check that after. I think already came back up. I heard the little ding, ding, ding. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be applying. You see how it says, please wait. So it's going through that process of deploying that Google Chrome. So once we log in, hopefully, fingers crossed, we have our Google Chrome icon on the desktop, and then we can open up the control panel again for add and remove programs and see if, see if it's actually there. And then we can browse out to it and that will conclude the video. Let's give this a moment, patiently waiting. And then let's go back to our DC. And if you're interested in doing any more you know, any more softwares, obviously you go out and just make sure it's an MSI, right? You cannot do it with an executable EXE or anything. Just make sure, and for simplistic sake, you know, just put all your software in one location. And once you, you know, once you start deploying that, you can just remove, you can remove it once it's deployed. But, you know, I would just keep it there just in case you want to have that for other machines. And all that good stuff. All right, so our Windows 11 is back up. Let's go ahead and log in. Fingers crossed. May make it be on the desktop, please. Yes. Awesome. Look at that. We got Google Chrome, guys. We got Google Chrome. So also, what we can do is let's go ahead and open up Run again. Obviously we can see it there, but we can go ahead and verify. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here we go. It's installed. Today is the third of 2022. We are golden. So let's X out of here. Let's double click on it and see if we can browse out. Let's make sure everything works. Test. Well, Google wrong, but Google probably has a million DNS records, so it corrected it. Cool, we did this successfully. We installed an application. In my case, we did Google Chrome, and it successfully installed. We tested it on our Windows 11 machine, so we're good to go. Like I always say, please, guys, if you guys enjoyed my videos, please like, subscribe, and share my videos. The more exposure, the better, right? The more people can learn. So until next time, folks, please be safe 
and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.